So here's what's given in this problem. Uh, we've got a nucleus uh, of lead composed of 82 protons. There's a bunch of neutrons in there too, but all neutrons do is hold the nucleus together. They don't and add to the mass. They don't contribute to any charge. That's why they're called protons. And then uh, this, you know, way out here, and they say, what do you mean way out here? This is a tiny distance. True, but, but compared to the size of a uh, of the nucleus, this is a this is a big this is a long ways away. Um, we have an electron, and we want to know uh, right here what is the electric field, and then uh, and then we want to know what it, what force do these protons apply to this electron. So now we're dealing with forces and so on that are going on inside an atom. Okay, so now if you're watching this. You know, pause it and try to figure it out uh, yourself, and then watch the solution and pause it as I go to get unstuck. All right, so let's do part A. We want to know what is the electric field at this location in space due to these 82 protons? Well, we know that protons have a positive charge, but what is the charge on a proton in coulombs? It's very tiny. The charge on a proton is equal to <coughs> 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And by the way, that's the charge on an electron as well, except the electron has a negative charge or an opposite charge. So what is the charge? Now, if we want to know the electric field, well, the equation for an electric field uh, for a little bundle of of protons like this that are all concentrated at a point in space like this or a spherical uh, with spherical symmetry like this is k q over r squared in the r hat direction so uh, now we just need to plug in our values here how much uh, what is k 8.99 times 10 to the negative, or I'm sorry, times 10 to the positive 9 Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. So that's the electric constant. That tells us that uh, how strong uh, electric forces are in our universe. And then we need the total charge uh, here. Well, you have 82 protons, and the charge on each proton is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and then we have this very very uh, tiny distance but of course we're going to need to square that and then we have the r hat direction and uh, which just means away so the electric field because these are positive charges in this nucleus the electric field is going to be away from the nucleus in all directions, like that. So now we just need to plug in our values. Let's do that on the calculator. Turn the light on here. Okay. Um, so we've got 8.99 times 10 to the 9 times 82 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 and then divided by 1 times 10 to the negative 10 but I have to square that and I hit enter and I get a value that I don't believe Oh, maybe. Let's see. So it says E here is equal to, uh, oh yeah, okay, 1.18, uh, I'll round it off, times 10 to the 13. Uh, uh, newtons. 
uh, newtons per coulomb. Oh, newtons per coulomb, yeah. Um, so this this is a pretty pretty strong electric field. I was kind of skeptical of it uh, when I first looked at it, but yeah, I'm looking at the solution manual, and that's that's right. And what direction is it? Well, it's in the positive r hat direction, which means away from the nucleus, because it's a nucleus that carries a positive charge. So there's my answer. Now, that's pretty, that's a lot of force. Of course, putting a whole coulomb of charge this close to an atom is impossible, but it's a ratio of force per unit charge. Now, let's do part B. The um, force on an electron is equal to Q, uh, which is the charge of my electron, not the charge of the proton, but the charge of the thing that we're putting in the field times the electric field. Well, what is the charge on an electron? Well, it's negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs times uh, 1.18 times 10 to the 13 newtons per coulomb in the r hat direction. Oh, I keep tilting this, sorry. Now, this negative really should be transferred over to this unit vector, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to say it's in the negative r hat direction, which means what? It means the electron is being pulled in. Negative r hat means pulled inward. And now to get the magnitude of that force, we know the force now is going to be inward. Well, I've already got the, in my, on my calculator, you can see I've already got the electric field in here. So what I'm going to do is just multiply it by the charge. So times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And I get it, uh, what seems like a small force, 1.9 times 10 to the negative 6 newtons. Or if you really want to get fancy, you can call it 1.9, what's 10 to the negative 6? Micronewtons. You don't. Have, you didn't have to do that. Um, but what direction? Negative r hat. What does negative r hat mean? It means towards the nucleus. It's that's. This is how the nuclei of atoms hold the atoms, uh, hold the electrons in their sort of orbits around the um, around the nucleus. This is a very very strong force. On, uh, when you consider, okay, it's only a millionth of a newton, but it's only an electron, which is which has so little tight mass that you know, so the accelerations are unbelievable. But uh, anyway, there's your answer, and uh, so, and oh, negative toward the nucleus. Or negative r hat. That's what negative r hat means. Okay. Any questions on this problem? Okay, that is all.